Hey guys, today I'm going to go over day 5 of our 2014 Walt Disney World vacation. And if you missed the previous days, you can find links for those down below. So day 5 was Wednesday, February 5th, 2014. And on this day, we were just taking it easy in the morning because we were planning to go to the Magic Kingdom that afternoon and evening time for the fireworks. So we got up and we just hung around the room for a while. And then around 10 o'clock we went down to the Roaring Port and we had breakfast. I got some of the chocolate chip Mickey waffles which were really yummy. And after breakfast my husband and my two and a half year old went up to the room to get some rest. And my five year old and myself, we walked around the resort and took a lot of pictures around the resort area. And then we went down to the little beach area that they have and my five-year-old played in the sand for like almost an hour and then by this time it was after 12 so we went back up to the room and I gave my girls a bath since my older daughter had sand all over her and we got ready to head out to the Magic Kingdom for the evening. So we left around 1.45 and we took the boat from the Wilderness Lodge to the Magic Kingdom and we arrived there uh, just after 2. So we went straight to Cinderella's Castle where we had 2.30 reservations for lunch at Cinderella's Royal Table. And I booked the trip about 3 months before we actually went so 2.30 was like the only time I could get. But I'm glad I took it anyway because we actually really loved eating there. It was one of our favorite meals of the entire trip. So we got there around 2.30. We got checked in and we met Cinderella first. And then after we met Cinderella, they took us to our table to be seated. And one of the things I really liked about eating there is that my two and a half year old wasn't on our dining plan but they still gave her her own appetizer and the magic wand and the the wishing star and a placemat all of her own so she had all of that stuff herself even though she wasn't on the dining plan and we weren't paying for her to eat there so it was really nice that they did that and that was one of the things we really loved about so, it so right after we got our appetizers the princesses started coming around and we met Snow White Aurora, Jasmine, and Ariel while we were there. And the food was really good and I also got the dessert. I got the Clock Strikes 12 dessert and that was also really yummy too. And that was pretty much it. We were done with our meal there. I really liked eating there and I'm definitely hoping to eat there again next So time. after our lunch at Cinderella's Castle we went over and we rode Under the Sea which was one of our favorite rides as well. And then after we wrote that, it was starting to rain, so it actually it poured, so we had to take cover for a few minutes. It only lasted a few minutes, so it was fine, and after the, the rainstorm, it seemed like the park was a little less crowded, so that was nice. So we walked over to Monsters, Inc. Laugh Floor, and we did that one, which was really fun. And then we went on the Tomorrowland People Mover. Then after that, my husband and my older daughter went on Tomorrowland Speedway and I waited with my younger daughter and while we were waiting, she fell asleep in the stroller. So after they got off the ride, my younger daughter was asleep. We decided we would go sit down and have a snack. My husband and I had some smoothies and my oldest daughter had some ice cream. It was starting to get dark after we were done with our snacks. so. We had fast pass reservations for the fireworks and since my youngest daughter was asleep we just basically walked around for a little bit and then went over and got on the fast pass line to go to our viewing location for the fireworks. So we basically just waited around until the fireworks because my daughter she was asleep she slept the entire time she slept until the fireworks started. So we watched the fireworks show it was really nice. And when the fireworks were over, we went over to meet Rapunzel. And at this time, it was Rapunzel and a visiting princess, and then it was Cinderella and a visiting princess. So we didn't go to meet Cinderella since we had seen her earlier at the castle, but we did go to see Rapunzel. And then the visiting princess with her was Snow White. We had already seen Snow White earlier that day, but we just met her again there. 
So after we met the princesses, we were pretty much done for the day. It was just after 9 o'clock at this time. So we took a boat back to the Wilderness Lodge, and that was it for our second day at Magic Kingdom. And I'm going to put in some pictures and some video clips here, and then stay tuned shortly for our day at Epcot. Thanks for watching. I want to come out with you. I'm coming out. Wait, wait, wait. We're going to the food court. This looks like we're going to the food court to you. Do you like this video? It's cool, cool, Todd. Can't wait too much, Dad. I don't know, but it's a great one. You can't believe that we're gonna love the princess. Then we gonna love the princess. Princess, princess, princess. I can't wait to see her. Think we're gonna see the princess today? We are, aren't we? Princess, 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 I can't wait to see you. <laughs> can't wait to see the princess, can't we? You can't wait to see the princess, princess. Princess, the princess, princess. Isn't that neat? Look at Mickey star. Look at that, we're taking the fast boat over here. 
Put some sand in the water. Mm. Why? Put some sand in the water. Why? Here. Put the Well then, adventure it is! 